Have you ever wondered after all of this time online, your bank account doesn't reflect your hard work? I also used to struggle to make money online until I realized these common pitfalls. And in this video, I'm going to reveal 10 reasons why you're not making money online and how you can fix it. Hi, my name's Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just put money into my own pocket. And if you want to be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, guys, so just a few years ago, I personally felt like I was ready to give up on my dream. Nothing was working, and I was making very little online. It wasn't until I fixed these 10 common mistakes that I started realizing that making money online is possible, and that's when my online business really changed. So what we're gonna to do today is we're going to reveal 10 common pitfalls of why you're probably not making up money online, and I'm going to give you some insight and some tips and tricks on how to fix it. So let's go ahead and dive into number one. Number one is simply you're just not focused. Now, people call this shiny object syndrome, but basically what that means is, is you see a video, whether it's free, whether you go buy a course on one way to make money online. Maybe it's a course on Pinterest. You try that for a little while, maybe a week or two, and you feel like it's not working. And so instead of keeping on with that same method, you try and jump to a different method. Maybe you try a different Pinterest method or you switch over to YouTube altogether. Not being focused is one of the biggest hurdles to your success online. Anybody that's successful knows that they're going to focus on one task, on one strategy, on one business model for months, maybe even years until they're successful. Again, I was the exact same way. I used to go buy this set it and forget it plug and play Pinterest course that would quote unquote allow me to automate the process and after a few weeks it wouldn't work i would jump onto the next thing it wasn't until i got super focused on this one method this one style of doing something that i actually started seeing results and success now anything can work any method can work any traffic source can work it's just very important for you to stay focused and continuously working on that again and again and again work on one strategy for six months if after six months you're not seeing any progress you're not seeing any success then you can pivot on to something else. But focus wholeheartedly 100% on that one method, that one strategy, and I'm guaranteeing you that you'll see success. If it's blogging, focus on blogging for six months. If it's creating a YouTube channel, focus on it for six months, and I guarantee you, you'll start seeing some signs of success. So number one is simply staying focused. Number two is you are not consistent. Now, in the very beginning, it's exciting, it's fun. You have these dreams of making millions of dollars online, and so it's very easy to show up every single day. But three months months in three weeks in that excitement starts to fade away a little bit and that's when inconsistency can creep in instead of creating content every day or working on your business every single day maybe you take a day off to go shopping or maybe you take a day off to just hang out and do absolutely nothing in the very beginning when you are first launching your online business think of this business as a second job you have to show up to the job every single day even when you don't want to even when you're sick and when you're tired and when your kids are getting on your nerves still show up okay show up keep working do something every single day to grow your online business now once your business is fully launched and off the ground you don't have to work every day i certainly don't work every day i probably work about four days a week but in the very beginning if you're just getting started you don't have any success you're not making any money show up to work every single day and do something to move your business at least one percent forward that can be creating content that could be doing keyword research that could be you know looking up different affiliate programs. Just make sure that you are moving forward every single day. And what may help is tracking your progress, tracking your results, making a list of things that you need to do. Go out and buy a $20 notebook, a fancy notebook, one that you're excited to write in, and that's going to motivate you. Hopefully that'll motivate you to keep working on your business. So one thing that really helped me with staying focused was taking notes, having a little notebook that I would jot stuff down in, making a to-do list, and my to-do list is probably 10 pages long at this point because there's always stuff that I want to do, but I do get a sense of accomplishment anytime I check one of those things off. So it is vitally important that you are consistent. You show up every day in the very beginning until you get your business launched off the ground. Number three, and I think this is a big one. You are waiting for people to tell you what to do. There are so many comments that I get on my YouTube channel that are asking, what do I do next? How do I do this? Instead of waiting for someone else to launch your business, go out, be proactive, take initiative and do it yourself. There are so many resources out there 
both free and paid that'll help you with the next step. If you don't know how to create a WordPress website, do the research. There's tons of YouTube videos that show you step-by-step -step how to create a WordPress website. If you wanna learn how to create a TikTok, again, there are thousands of videos that are showing you how to do this stuff step-by-step. -step. The people that are successful online, they just do it, okay? They don't sit around and they don't think about it. They don't wait for somebody else. They're not waiting for a response from an online person. They just take action, they take initiative, and they keep moving forward. The worst thing that you could do is you could sit around and wait for somebody else. I would much rather you guys move forward and make an error or make a mistake because you'll learn from that, but don't sit around waiting for someone else to help you out because that help just may never come. That is a huge problem that I see and it's really preventing a lot of people from making money online. Well, Austin didn't tell me what to do next, so I'm not gonna do anything. That is a terrible business strategy. Don't rely on other people to help grow your business. Number four, and this is a big one, is simply trying to be perfect. In the online business world, the enemy of success is perfection. If you look at some of my landing pages and my websites, they're air. But what's more important is for me to get my products and services off the ground that get them in the hands of people that need them and then let the market decide if it's valuable or not. Stop trying to be perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect YouTube video or a perfect blog post or a perfect TikTok. What's perfect is you getting that content up into the internet and letting the internet decide. Stop trying to be perfect because what's happening is people will create a YouTube video, they'll watch it back and they'll say, I don't like my hair, let me do it over. I don't like that I said uh too many times or I don't like that I did this or I don't like the way I look. I've got a face for radio. And so they wind up never getting started because they're trying to be perfect. Again, there's no such thing as perfect content. Perfect content is getting content out into the internet. It's really as simple as that. So stop trying to be perfect and you will be much further along. Number five, you are focusing on things that do not bring in money. For example, people are trying to make their website look pretty. In reality, nobody cares if your website's pretty or not. What people really care about is the content that's on the website. If the content on the website helps that customer or reader solve a problem, they're going to click on your affiliate link. Again, people are focusing way too much on logos. You can go over to Fiverr, hire somebody to do a logo for 20 bucks. You can use ChatGPT and Midjourney to create a logo for you. Stop worrying about things that aren't going to bring you any money. Don't worry about your color scheme. That, that doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. No customer has ever said, hmm, I really like this product or service, but I don't like this color scheme of this website, so I'm not gonna buy it. No one's ever said that, so stop worrying about it. Worry about things that are going to bring money in the front door, and then you can either hire a designer, you can hire someone that just looks at stuff and says this looks pretty. Worry about that stuff later once you have money coming in. Don't focus on it now because it's just a waste of your time. Number six, and I think this is a big one, you are not willing to invest in yourself. Now before you click off and think I'm talking about courses, I'm not. I'm talking about little things like a website. If you wanna be taken serious with your online business, you need to have a website, okay? If you wanna to apply to affiliate programs, some programs are gonna require that you have a website. You wanna have a base of operations that you can point people back to again and again and again. For example, if I lost this YouTube channel for whatever reason, I still have my website to fall back on and I can point people to that website. You need to have a website. You need to have a base of operations. You need to be willing to invest in yourself. Yes, you can get started with affiliate marketing and starting an online business for free, but eventually you wanna have a website, you wanna do email marketing, and you probably wanna upgrade your equipment at some point, but at least not in the beginning. Invest in yourself if you want to be taken serious and if you want to make more money online. Number seven, you have unrealistic expectations. Now, a lot of people that I speak with believe that they're just going to start making money online, start a brand new business and make $10,000 in their first three months. Now, I hate to burst your bubble, but that's not going to happen. If you've never created content before, if you've never started an online business, it is going to be very difficult for you to make 10K in three months. Can you make 10K online? Yes, anybody can. However, you need to set realistic expectations for yourself. Instead of thinking, I'm gonna make 10K in the next three months, your goal should be, hey, I'm gonna get 10 new subscribers to my YouTube channel in the next three weeks. That's an attainable goal, and that's going to set you up for success. Again, a lot of people that come into affiliate marketing or making money online, they believe that it's easy, and so they set these crazy goals. Now, what happens is, and I've actually merged my two together, 
unrealistic expectations and unrealistic goals. But what happens is in the very beginning, I say, I'm going to make 10K per month. Two weeks in, you haven't gotten any views. You haven't gotten any subscribers. You're not getting any leads to your landing page and you get frustrated. And then that's when you start to be inconsistent. That's when you stop trying every single day. That's when you stop building on your business. What I recommend that you do is set realistic expectations and goals for yourself. Maybe after two, three months, your goal should be, hey, I'm going to have a thousand dollars consistently. That's a realistic goal that you could set out for yourself and you could hit that goal and that's going to give you the motivation to move forward. So set realistic goals, set realistic expectations. Number nine, and I actually personally went through this myself, you are self-sabotaging yourself because you feel like you are not worthy to make money online. Personally, when I first started seeing success, I couldn't believe it. Hey, I just made a thousand dollars today. I couldn't believe it because no one in my family had made a thousand dollars online. And one of those things you have to tell yourself is that yes, you are worthy of being successful. You are worthy of the money that comes in and that money truly is yours. In the very beginning, I would look at my bank account almost every couple hours just to make sure that it was real, make sure that I truly was making that kind of money. So when you are doing self-sabotage, you are going to consciously or subconsciously do things that are not going to lead to your success. You may be trying to change the colors on your logo. You might be trying to find that perfect thing or you might be trying to create that perfect website. If you truly believe that you are worth whatever your goals are, if it's 10K, 20K, 100K per month, if you truly believe that, you will actually do things that are going to move your business forward and you're gonna stop focusing on those other things. But one of the things that I think everybody goes through, especially if you've never seen or made or know anyone that has made substantial money, either offline or online, is you have to talk yourself into believing that you are worth that type of money. You are worth making 10K per month, even if no one in your family has ever done that before. Number 10, and this is another big one, is you are making excuses. I send out an email in my autoresponder sequences. I, I ask the people that subscribe to my mailing list is what's the biggest challenge that you're facing and maybe I can help you. One of the most common responses that I receive is I don't understand the tech or I, I don't have the tech skills. I don't have the money to invest. I don't, I don't, I don't. And I believe those are all excuses so that you're not successful. Quite frankly, if you wanted to learn the tech skills required to start a YouTube channel, you would learn it. If you want to learn the tech skills required to start a blog or website, you would learn it because if your job required you to get good at Excel, you would get good at Excel. If your job required you to look into your phone and create TikToks, you would find a way to do that. And so you have to ask yourself, is this something that I really want? And if it is something you really want, are you willing to do what it takes to be successful? But I get so many emails every single day of people basically making excuses of things that they can overcome come. As I mentioned early on, you can start affiliate marketing, you can start an online business without spending any money, but it's something that you can reinvest or should reinvest in over time. So stop making excuses for yourself and I guarantee you, you will be much successful, much more successful when you start an online business. So to quickly run through them again, uh, you are not focused, you are inconsistent, you are waiting for people to tell you what to do, you are trying to be perfect, you are focusing on things that will not bring you money, you will not invest in yourself, and what I meant by that is building a website, starting email marketing, unrealistic expectations, unrealistic goals, I merge those two together, self-sabotage, and you are letting excuses stop you. Now, a bonus one that I have to make sure that we get to 10 is you are not doing email marketing. Email marketing is critically important when you are starting your online business. One of the mistakes that I made is I was sending people directly to the affiliate offer, and that's such a low conversion and you lose the opportunity to interact with those people again. Now, personally, I was thinking, and this tied into not being worthy of success, I would say to myself, I've got a great product, I've got a great service, and these people are just gonna buy. I didn't do email marketing for the first year or so of my online business, and my online business struggled. So now that you know the 10 common mistakes that most people are making, watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.